This Yahoo Answer was sent in by Alexander Hawk or Hotch. One of those two. Thanks, Alexander. It's by Yahoo Answers user Av, who asks, question about smelling? Okay. Hi, okay, I have a question about smelling air, like, with your nose. Okay, so, like, uh, I never thought about it, but what if you breathe in a lot of stink air? Does the, st- <laughs> Does the stink air lodge itself into your lungs? And you get the smell inside of you until the end of time, a.k.a. forever. But because I went to a farm last year, and there was a bit cow poo, and I smelt it, and I still smell it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Additional details. I saw it on the news. Okay. So um, this gentleman is worried about eternal smell. Yeah. He's worried He's, about the smell getting inside of him and living, and living there forever, there. a.k.a. the end of time. Uh, actually, this is um, this phenomenon is well known. We just call it something different: memories. Yeah, <laughs> that's how. This is how memory works: is you get a smell inside of you, and uh, it never lets itself go, lets itself out, and then um, it's it's actually my favorite kind of memory. It's sense memory. It's like when you smell something and it connects to something else. But I really want to know what kind of memory is attached to the smell of cow poop because wouldn't that be like the worst sense of memory every time you smell cow poop you think of that girl you made love to on the farm yeah why no. does that doesn't make it why what? would that why would the smell of you should never ever connect the smell of poop and sex in your mind at the same time ever. if you if you smell poop you can't have sex like that's yeah. the rules you say well listen baby you're uh you're a red and white checked shirt that you've tied into a knot in front mm-hmm. of you like farmer's daughters do looks so sexy and i, love I know how i'm a traveling hairbrush salesman i know i'm a but. traveling hairbrush salesman but listen it smells like poopy right here you're so giving me don't... come you're giving me come hither eyes but the air around you is giving me go away run 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 eyes <laughs> run, run, run. now i know your your father the farmer mm-hmm. told me not to touch you his beautiful virginal daughter um, and I should be moseying along to, I don't know, Piscataway or someplace like that, the traveling salesman go. But I smell poop. Is that mm. just me? Is that just me? I like to mosey. I'm going to Albuquerque. 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 I, Albuquerque. I, I, to, I don't know, guys. I still... I used to port a john at Bonnaroo on the last day once. <laughs> and that's... That... That smell is like, I still, it comes up from time to time. And it's not like I think about Bonnaroo and then I get the smell. It's like, it lives in like my shoulder blade or something. And every once in a while, if I jostle it, I'll break the seal and it'll come back to me. I think the smell lives inside me forever and ever, okay, at the end of time. Now, did you think this before you read this question? Or is it just a, an idea? It's a problem I deal with every <laughs> single day. But it's okay because sometimes I'll like be walking down the street and I'll get a whiff of Heiner's Bakery, which is in Huntington, and I haven't been to ever. I've yeah. just driven by it 10 You're years You've just ago. driven by it, and it gets stuck in your knee. And you get that smell in my <laughs> knee. I am a man. I am composed of smells, basically. I think everybody, everybody is made of, Yeah, everybody is basically made of smells. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's something you learn in psychology that basically you, the, the you that is you, is just a, a you know, it's just a, a building of all the smells you've ever smelled in your life. Yeah. Right, that's how you get your personality. Mm-hmm. That's your personality how... is just based on a collection of smells. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why people like, who like make barbecue for a living are like so jovial. It's because they mm-hmm. are made of barbecue smells. Right. Do you remember that time that you laughed at wedding crashers? You found that funny because of that time that you smelled barbecue when you were in Memphis. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how are those two ideas connected? Well, smelling the barbecue gave you the ability to find things funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's a, why that, that is why um, Amish people are so bitter. Right, I'm actually I, a strong proponent of uh, <clears throat> completely and totally dismantling our public uh, school system uh-huh. and just creating these facilities where you come in and you you plug in some sort of oxygen apparatus into your nose, mm-hmm. sort of like an oxygen bar, and then instead of uh, making children <clears throat> read traditional books and receive tutelage from professors, they just get steak smells blown into their face, into their face holes. Or maybe not even steak. Maybe it's a uh, you know fresh bun cotton candy or a, a funnel cake. Uh, mm-hmm. Or maybe instead of getting sent to the principal's office, you put a little poop in there. You know, 
<laughs> this is in your body now forever. This smell I'm is sorry, in there. Steve. You're gonna get 30 seconds of poop. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're going in the I poop. I didn't do it. The poop chokey is what we This we'll call is why it. this is why kids in Africa always look so sad and all those yeah. Sally Struthers commercials because all they ever smelled is zebras and dust. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. probably the, not. That's, those are the two smells that they. I have. remember when yeah. I first read the book The Giver, mm -hmm. and I thought that is what, what we're talking about. <laughs> The heck, that's so good, Travis. That's that in Africa. Well, I was just thinking of sharing smells with people. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. And Nobody there can remember anything except for one that's guy. Right. They don't even see colors. He does all the smells for everybody, and then he gives them to people. I imagine. remember that time I taught uh, a young African child what sledding was. Yeah. And it was pretty epic. Mm -hmm. Through the smell of a fresh store-bought sled. <laughs> and you can read in my biography, what's that smell? The story of Travis McElroy. Can you keep a sachet? Of some sort of certain smell that will give that will teach someone to love our podcast that mm -hmm. you just carry around with you. He just carries around a lot of glass baubles and Excuse you open me. them. <laughs> I, I'm gonna juggle these baubles like Jared from <laughs> Labyrinth, and then I'd like to crack one open for you and just if you could just inhale. I'm this a merchant parfum. of exotic parfums. <laughs> <laughs> and please enjoy this eau de toilette. If you inhale it, it will make you a much better it, typer. It, it does smell like Wendy's. That's it right. smells like Wendy's that Enjoy makes you great Enjoy the Wendy's typist. memories. <laughs> These are my Wendy's memories. The, uh, the plot of Labyrinth 2, <laughs> the plot of Labyrinth 2 is me trying to go find Jared. So I can get my... <laughs> it's just, just in wandering the streets of Huntington with a bunch of mason jars yelling for David Bowie. I, I never, and, I, and people ask me, like, have you been to Wendy's? <laughs> I have. I don't recall ever having gone to Wendy's. I, 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 it seems like I would go. They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty prevalent. Uh, but because Jared stole uh, them, all at no chicken sandwich, no um, nuggets, nothing. I don't remember a single frosty. Because Jared stole all my Wendy's memories. <laughs> dance, dance, Wendy's dance, <laughs> jump, Wendy's jump. Uh, you remind me of the crispy chicken sandwich. Which one crispy chicken, chicken sandwich? sandwich. The power of Dave Thomas. <laughs> Fuck. Da. Yeah. I'm gonna need to take a two-hour break here so I can go watch Labyrinth again. I need a 30-minute break to go eat Wendy's and then poop it out, which is about <laughs> how long it takes to do that for Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> what if you? What if the smell of a certain food made you forget <laughs> the fact that you ate it and you would be <laughs> locked forever? Like my belly seems fuller. Yeah. But I'm, I don't. Ha I don't I'm recall dead like that guy in Seven. <laughs> this gazpacho looks great, though. I can't wait to eat it. I can't believe I got to drive back to Wendy's. What's Wendy's? I've never heard of it. Oh shit! Labyrinth Two mm. tagline. Come get the new. <laughs> come get the new Inception Burger. Come get the new Inception Burger and remember the, that, that time that your uncle died.